Hi, Bulldogs. Welcome back from spring break. While we know your vacation may have looked different than you originally imagined, we hope you were able to relax, read at least one great book, and enjoy time with your family. As your student council officers, we wanted to welcome you back to school and send some encouragement your way. We will still end the school year strong, individually as students, and as the amazing school that we are. As Hirsch Bulldogs, we have what it takes to succeed and end the school year strong. We can each exercise a growth mindset in two important areas, as we learn online and as we find creative and constructive ways to spend our time at home. Yeah, thanks, Shreen. So to do that, we thought this would be a great time to highlight four of our monthly character traits and provide practical ways to use these traits. Since it's April, let's start with this month's character trait, responsibility. As we all head back to school this week, let's be sure we are being responsible in ways that will help us learn and succeed academically. How can we do this? Be sure to check your teacher's Google Classroom for Zoom meetings, assignments, and important messages. Let's not rush through assignments, but instead, let's complete all our work in a timely manner that demonstrates thought and effort. The goal is to learn the material, not just finish the work. We can also show responsibility at home. During this time, our parents and guardians really need us to be responsible. Whether it is keeping our areas clean and organized, completing chores, or helping with any kids at home, whether they are older or younger. We are sure that our parents would love us each to do what we know we're responsible for, without having to remind us a million times. Let's show them and ourselves that we're responsible. This is also a great time to practice last month's character trait, problem solving. We can be problem solvers in lots of ways, especially as we learn online. For example, if you're not sure how to access your work, a link, or how to submit work, first go back to the directions that your teacher has provided. Read the directions carefully, then try to take steps that might work. Remember, we want to have a growth mindset, not only in what we're learning, but also in how we're learning. There's nothing wrong with making mistakes when we try. Just keep trying. Your teachers are available, so send any of them a question, whether through Google Classroom or whatever messaging system they set up like Jojo or email. Problem solvers don't give up. We just try different ways to solve a problem. Bulldogs, we know you're up to the challenge. This is also a great time to exercise January's trait of planning and decision making. If you have not done so yet, make a schedule for yourself. Otherwise, it can be too tempting to stay in pajamas and sleep in too late. We all had a schedule when we were at school. So it's a great idea to work with your parents on creating a daily schedule instead. By doing this, you can plan time for homework, Zoom meetings, silent reading, as well as reading out loud to practice reading fluency, practicing math facts, and even time for being creative through art. How about exercising? Are you still getting PE in? Your teacher will be posting lessons, ideas, and projects to keep you learning. School does not end until June, and learning never ends. We each have goals that we want to accomplish, and truly, none of them will happen without some planning, and then making decisions on steps to achieve those goals. Your teachers and parents are here to help. Lastly, I think it's important that we remember the trait that we started with back in September, caring. This is a really different time for everyone around you your family members, your classmates, your friends, and even your neighbors. We can all help each other through this time by being caring. You can show the trait of caring by being patient and appreciative to all those at home. This is a great time to make a card for someone at your house who could use some encouragement or just to express your appreciation by like maybe saying, thanks for that great meal or thanks for doing my laundry or even thanks for helping me with my online learning. I bet you can think of ways to be caring to a brother or sister that might be having a hard day or needs help. And don't forget your classmates and teacher. 
When you're learning online, you can demonstrate caring even during Zoom meetings by listening to others and offering words of encouragement. We want to let you know that you are a Hirsch Bulldog. That means you are a part of a great school and we will end this year strong. We hope that you will take something away from what we've talked about today and use these traits to help succeed during what we are going through. Thanks for listening, Bulldogs. Please know your student council has been working on ways that we can still serve you and bring school spirit. Even though we have to learn through different ways, we can still have a strong finish to the rest of our year. Have an awesome week. Bye.